Staying with local and also staying with organic. Who better? <laughs> Who better than? Pump them up. Uh, Welcome back to Baldo's News from the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern. Let's start off on the East Coast this week, down in Florida. Tropical Storm Colin last week dropped a lot of rain on Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Tomato prices are up. There's just not enough supply to keep up with demand. It's going to take about a week, maybe two, to get out of that, and then we'll be back to some stable pricing. Over on the West Coast, or on Maine Harbor, due to some cool nights, harvesting is not coming along as expected, so they're very, very short this week and going into next week. But if you pledge local, Local romaine is super cheap, super delicious, super fresh every single day. Take the pledge, it will be a great alternative. Speaking of local, let's go up to Norwich Farms in Syracuse, New York. Look at this baby lettuce. In fact, they're not really baby, but they're not full size. Let's call them teenagers. Lots of different colors, lots of different textures. It changes throughout the year, but it comes in a mixed box. You always get three or four, five or six varieties. Really good quality. He grows in organic soil. Absolutely amazing. Saeed, who's originally from Egypt, you don't have to wait for the Nile to flood. He's got irrigation up there on his organic farming and absolutely perfect. This is also from him, baby kohlrabi, kohlrabi German. Kohl means cabbage, rabi means turnip, so I guess cabbage turnip if you like. You can cut it in half, you can saute it, you can eat it raw, packed full of nutrition. Don't forget the leaves, don't waste them, put them in some soup, slice them up, saute them, put them in. Taking with the theme of local and also organic, who better than Amy and Gail, sisters up in Milton, New York, they've got a farm called Hepworth Farms. They grow organically, they take care of the soil, they take care of their workers. This is beautiful Spigarello. It's an heirloom variety from Italy of kale and broccoli. It's grown in Milton, New York, very, very close to us, packed full of nutrients, keeps its shape when cooked. It's a little bit like broccoli rabe without the bitterness. Really a very tasty supplement to put on any dish. Look at these beautiful strawberries. They're from Somers, Connecticut. Roger Pell, third generation farmer up there. The farm opened in 1930. He brings us his strawberries every day. They're picked, they're packed, they're cooled, and shipped to Baldor. He also does raspberries. These little babies are red all the way through and quite delicious. This is one of my favorite times of the year. Guess why? I get to speak to Dan Latham two or three times a week. He produces a plethora of vegetables throughout the season, but right now he's heavy into some wonderful strawberries that we're going to be receiving his first shipment tomorrow. Also from Hudson Valley, also got strawberries packed in the eight quarts. They're all super red like this. We got great local fruit and more to come. Thank you for joining us at Battle News from the Farm. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week. And don't forget the pledge! Nice small strawberries go all the way through the summer. Can't think of anything else to say. I'll do it next time. Look at these beautiful strawberries from Roger Pell, third generation farmer up in Connecticut, Somers. Okay, do that again. Cooper.